everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and this is Books with Kiki. In today's video, I have six books. Six really, really, really hyped up books that you either love or you don't love. And I have three that I agree with the hype and three that I don't think are worth the hype at all. So here are my six books that are incredibly hyped up across booktube, booktok, bookstagram and I'm going to break them down for you and tell you which ones I think are worth it and which ones I think are not worth it at all. So the first book I have is The Spanish Love Deception. Is this worth the hype? No. It is not worth the hype at all. This book is so incredibly long. It is... 473 pages and it is about 350 pages too long. This is a very, very, very big slow burn. Nothing happens. It's incredibly hard to read. I am pretty sure I read the whole Zodiac Academy series up to book seven whilst I was reading this one because it was just too boring to read. I needed something else in between. It just took so long, so incredibly long to finally get to the point where something happens. This to me is not worth the hype. My next book that I have is Book Lovers by Emily Henry and this book for me is worth the hype. I know this isn't a favourite of the ones that she's released. A lot of people don't really like this one and I, to be honest, don't know why. I loved this. I devoured it in a day. It's my favourite book by Emily Henry. So I definitely think this is worth the hype. Now I'd just like to also point out that these are my opinions only and I am very, very aware that everyone has their own opinions. So if you agree or disagree with anything I'm saying here, leave me a comment because I would absolutely love to know what you think as well and if you think a book is worth the hype or if it's not worth the hype. So my next book that I have is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. It's gotten a lot of hype. It's getting an adaption and everything and I believe Tessa Bailey's best book. This has her signature spice. It has your, your build up, your angst, um, small town, found family. I loved this book so much. This was actually my first five star like rom-com type read and I went down a big rabbit hole after reading this book. I loved it so much so definitely worth the hype. I also have a aesthetic reel that I made for this one. It's on my bookstagram account so if you want to go check that out go check it out. My next book that I have, book number four Twisted Love. This isn't worth the hype at all. I know this series as a whole has got a lot of hype, but I can't even get to the other books because this one turned me off so much. And I, I promise I will eventually read the other books. I've heard Twisted Hate, I think it is, is like the best one of all of them. So I will get there one day when my mood is calling me to it because this was terrible absolutely terrible did not like this at all i think it was a three star for me possibly even two and a half um i think i rushed the end of it as well because it just it wasn't for me i don't i don't really know the hype over this one i'm also not too sure if the only reason why this gets the hype is because of the other books so that could be why too next book or do we want to go for a pro or a con we're going to end this video on a good note so we're going to go in with another one that i think is not worth the hype and please 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 don't come for me on this because i know that a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this i'm sorry I know there is so much love for this book out there. It's incredibly hyped at the moment because Final Offer just came out. I don't get this. 
I do not get this one bit, guys. I don't know why this is loved. I don't know why this has got the hype to it. This is repetitive. This is boring. This is just the same thing over and over and over again. The whole scene is her working in her cubicle, him walking to her cubicle, they have a conversation, he throws his head back and laughs because he does that so many times in the book. Then he walks back to his office, broods a little, gets grumpy, she walks in, makes him happy. It's a slow burn. Nobody told me it was a slow burn before I picked this up. So just FYI friends, this is a slow burn. And then all of a sudden, they're together. Like that. Problems are fixed, happily ever after. It's repetitive. I don't understand why nobody picked that up or why I haven't seen more people go, oh my God, why are we reading the exact same scene every other chapter with different dialogue, but kind of saying the same thing? So I'm so sorry. My opinion again, I know a lot of you love this book, but this is not worth the hype for me at all. And I know a lot of you are going to agree with my last book. I've left the best for last. Archer's voice. Oh, I loved this book and this is worth the hype. This is heavy on the emotions though, absolutely heavy. And there is one chapter on this where you are going to want to throw the book at the wall and yell at the author. If you know, you know. I loved this so much. Archer is Add him to your book boyfriend list, cry over him, love on him. He is the sweetest, absolute sweetest book man you will ever meet. Very worth the hype. I loved this book. So there we go, friends. I have three popular books that I think are not worth the hype. And I have three popular books that I think are worth the hype. I could go on and on about books that I think are worth the hype and not worth the hype. I thought I would narrow it down to six books though. If you would like to see another video like this, maybe with the fantasy genre, I could totally do that. I have a lot of fantasy books on my shelf as well. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I would love you forever if you did, and I'll see you all in the next video.